Once you get back to your seat with your tissue paper pieces, you're just going to line them up however you want along the bottom edge of your paper. This is my, this green paper is my messy mat, so you can just ignore that. So you're gonna line them up on the bottom of your paper and right next to each other, whatever order you want. You have seven pieces, seven different colors. And be really careful because it's very, tissue paper is very thin paper. And just by breathing on it, which we have our mask, so that helps, um, or walking by someone's desk really quickly, they'll all just fly off. So be really careful when you lay them down. And then the last piece, if you run out of, see I have a little piece here and it's smaller than my tissue paper piece, that's okay. I'm still just gonna line it up at the bottom and let the rest hang off. All right, now you're ready to paint. And you're painting with just water. The color is coming from the tissue paper. That's why it's called bleeding tissue paper. The color leaves the tissue paper and it sticks to the paper underneath. So I'm dipping my brush in my water and then I need to hold it just at the bottom with my hand I'm not painting with because it will stick to my brush. You'll see when you lift it up, it'll stick to your brush. It's so thin if you don't hold on to it. And you wanna get quite a bit of water on there. And don't worry if you see how the color's already coming off on my paper when I, um, when my brush goes into the white part, that's okay. Don't worry about that because we're actually gonna cut that part off. All right, now if you can kind of see here, it might be a little hard. This part, there's like a bubble and this tissue paper part is not sticking to the paper. So if that happens, it's not going to be, the color isn't going to hit the white part. So you have to kind of get a little bit more water and kind of push it back down. Okay, now even though we're just using water, after you finish going over one color, you have to rinse your brush just like you were painting because there is color from the tissue paper on your brush. So here I'm hold, going on the next piece. I'm holding on to it at the bottom to begin at least because then the water kind of acts like glue and it helps the paper stick once you start painting. All right, and it's okay again if it slides a little bit and if there's a little bit of white in between, the colors are actually gonna sort of run together and you probably won't see white. Rinsing my brush again, going on to the next color, and holding it on for a little bit until it gets stuck with the water, until the water, water sticks it. Like I said, it's okay if you get some color on the white space. I do see quite a few bubbles here, though I have plenty of water. You don't wanna get so much water that you just have this big puddle. Um, so it's kind of in between. Yes, you do need to use enough water to get it to stick to your paper, but you also don't want a big little puddle sitting right on top either. Rinsing my brush before I go on to the next one. Holding it down. All right, making sure I have enough water that it's going to transfer the color to the white paper. Rinse my brush again. You can see that my red is starting to go into the blue. That's okay. And my blue just kind of shifted a little bit. That's also okay. You just try to hold it down as best you can. See how it sticks to your brush if you don't have it held down. And I think it's you don't want to try to mix the colors but they will mix on their own just a little bit. So that's kind of cool when you see that happening, but you don't have to try to paint over both of them at a, the same time to get them to mix on purpose. So you're treating each one of these like a little separate painting. You wanna just do one at a time and then rinse your brush. That one's not sticking very well. It's kind of sliding around. Last one, this is the one that kind of hung off the paper a little bit. I'm try to hold that in place as much as I can. I, I just need to wet the part. Whoop. 
that touches the paper. I don't need to wet the whole thing. Okay, I think I have it. There's enough water. I think all the spots are touching the white paper and I don't have a puddle anywhere. If I did, I might have to get a paper towel to soak that up. And that's all you have to do for this step. You leave the tissue paper right on as it dries, then it kind of falls off, but you don't want to take it off until it's dry.